Hi, it's Earth Computer and welcome to 1.13. This video is about informing you about the changes to RNG manipulation in 1.13. Some of it's broken, some of it's not. Um, it will include some stuff that used to be possible and isn't anymore. And it will also include a list of things that are still possible. One thing that isn't broken is enchantment manipulation. So I'm just going to go in and quickly crack the seed. So the player seed is cracked, so hopefully we can get um, some good enchantments on these tridents now. And here we got ourselves the perfect trident for, that you can get from an enchanting table. It's also possible to do enchantment manipulation with a modded client. So I have one installed right now. I can click on this enchantment table and you can see this uh, GUI here. And I'm just gonna show you how quickly I can crack the seed with the modded client. So just, just like this, I don't even have to do a cut. Um, I've got this, add info, exactly what happens with the tool, uh, just add a few more, hello, okay, that's weird, um, I will need to have one of these, that's the wrong tool, hose don't work apparently, I didn't know that, and boom, cracked XP seed, uh, just do an enchantment, and then repeat and very quickly we should be able to crack the player seed and once you've done that you can have uh, this list to choose from and do the normal um, enchantment manipulation which still works the same in 1.13 by the way um, and but the, the advantages with a uh, modded client is that you can do other stuff with the player seed which is kind of unrealistic to do without a modded client. So one of those things is if you have a tool with unbreaking, uh, you could even have a gold one with unbreaking. Uh, with RNG manipulation, you can make that unbreakable rather than unbreaking. Um, so I could go mine out this whole mountain with this golden pickaxe and the golden pickaxe would never run out. That being said, aside from enchanting manipulation, RNG manipulation in 1.13 is dead without a modded client. Um, if you're happy uh, with installing a modded client to do it, then that's fine. You, it still works. Um, on the whole, just the uh, some of the world RNG resetting doesn't work. And um, saying that, let's have a look at what could have been possible if this was discovered a little earlier. Way back in Minecraft Beta 1.8 they introduced a new structure to the game called Villages. And with these Villages came the possibility of RNG manipulation. In Minecraft 1.3.1, RNG manipulation broke. Um, so if we had been using it then, we'd have had to um, replace all of our chunk loading grids and everything uh, because of a new structure that was added to the game, which is the, the temple. Uh, the Desert Temple and the Jungle Temple were both added in this version and we would have had to replace all of the chunk loading grids which would have been annoying. For similar reasons, uh, the chunk loading grids would have broken again in 1.8, uh, this time because the ocean monuments were added. Uh, but there is something more important to note about this version. 1.8 was the last version where multiple cell RNG mob farms were possible. Um, you could, um, like after this, you can only use a single chunk for RNG mob farms, but before um, 1.8, or up to 1.8, you could use every single chunk around the player. Uh, so that's what you're limited by, and the maximum speed mob farm you could get for that, I would estimate it to be around 
20 to 30 million items per hour. In 1.9 they added the skeleton horse which had the unique feature of the skeleton riders. So you could come and trigger them like this and they would fawn, spawn four skeleton riders. And these skeleton riders in the nether could be either skeletons or wither skeletons. And you could make a wither skeleton farm like this. Uh, unfortunately this was fixed in 1.11, uh, but in 1.9 and 1.10 uh, you could um, make a very fast wither skeleton farm using a lightning farm in the overworld. Um, I've already made a video on this and you can check it in the description if you want. In 1.11 the chunk loading grids would have broken again due to the addition of a new structure type. However, this structure type used a 80 by 80 chunk region rather than a 32 by 32 chunk region which gave a little bit more flexibility. Uh, and this structure, in case you haven't already guessed, is the Woodland Mansion. Three months ago, Amiga discovered some weird lightning behaviour in his perimeter, and he uploaded a video of it. XCOM, Tuno, Ed, Nessie and I decided to investigate. There was a sleepless night, which happened right before my exam, <laughs> that we um, looked through it all, and we discovered that the weird lightning behaviour was caused by the world RNG resetting every time a chunk was loaded. Unfortunately, that was four months after it was already broken in 1.13 snapshots, but we still decided to um, exploit it a little bit. Initially, all the research went into lightning farms and weather machines, and Xerox had also gotten involved at this point. It quickly became clear to us that there were other applications than lightning as well, and before long, XCOM, Tuno, Nessie and I were secretly working on a mob farm. Um, and by the end of it, we also had discovered fortune manipulation, so uh, a video was also made on that. Ed then made an iron farm out of RNG manipulation, and I also made a wireless redstone video. It really is a shame that um, half of this is broken in 1.13. I really would have loved to discover it earlier and exploit it more. Um, but luckily, most technical servers aren't planning on upgrading to 1.13 in quite a while yet. Uh, so we'll have pl plenty of chance. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching.